when importing a DXF file that into the Perforex software that has a, an irregular shape in it, uh, we have to tr treat this irregular shape in a different manner. Um, circles, squares, rectangles, all will um, import fine as just by just changing the, the color to magenta. However, in a regular shape, we have to give it a lead in. We have to tell the, the milling tool where to start its cut and uh, how to treat this irregular shape. So it's fairly, fairly simple how to do it. But what I first do is I check to make sure that the shape I'm working with is by layer so that the Perforex software will ignore the original shape. It's only going to look for the magenta polyline. Okay, so it is by layer white. And what I will do here is I make sure that I'm using magenta as color, telling it milling operation, and then I'll select the polyline tool. Come down and find my object, find center, and center of a flat line. We want a flat surface. We want to enter on a flat surface. And the reason for that is we enter and clean up at the same location. And so therefore, when the mill finishes the milling operation, it needs a five millimeter uh, finish cut so that we can clean up any, any notches or tabs or, or um, uh, dimples that are left behind. So I found my center, my bid point and I'm going to give it a lead in. So I'm just going to select here and start drawing. I'm going to come down, once again, find perpendicular, click, I should say let left click, come out, find the edge of my line, I left click, and then we're going to change to an arc. So I right click, select arc, and come up to our midpoint arc. Click, left click that is, and then come down to where my line starts again, and left click. And then my final movement will be past our lead in. So I generally go to, um, whoops, I got to change. First of all, I've got to change to a line again. I almost had to redo this. I go to my midpoint past my lead in and click, and that'll finish it. I press escape and that gives me a magenta, magenta polyline. Now, notice it's none of it, none of the arcs are near their boundary. So all I have to do is select my midpoint on each arc, click it, and then come out and find my perpendicular. And I click the perpendicular. Once again, I do it on this side here. Click my midpoint, find my perpendicular, and click again. And that will drag everything in. Now we have an irregular object that will import fine into the Perforex software. Um, thank you for your time.